So how do you get to remember the definition of a limit within 30 seconds? So look at what we have. We have a limit as x approaches c. f of x is equal to l. So we'll group two terms. So this and that. Put a minus between them. So I'll start with the one on the bottom. It's x minus c. So its absolute value should be less than the delta. Then the other part is we have f of x minus l should be less than what? Should be less than epsilon. So you already have about to remember that within 30 seconds. So just a few things to add. That should be greater than zero. And then of course for every epsilon greater than zero is very important. There are also, you need to mention that there exists a delta. So, which is also greater than zero. So that zero is, so that comes, and then, then. So this is like, if this is true, then that is also true. That's the definition of a limit.